Tonight we will be unboxing my new keyboard, Logitech G510. It's a keyboard with um, built-in LCD screen, just like the G19 I have in my other computer. So, we'll see. This box uh, sells for $90 on Newegg.com uh, plus tax and shipping. But if you buy this in store, especially in Fry's or Best Buy, it'll run you around uh, $120 plus tax. So let's see what we have inside. Okay. There we go. Before that, let's take a quick look at the box. Got a nice picture, picture of the keyboard itself. Some description of the keyboard, blah blah. Nothing really fancy. Okay, now let's see. Yeah, inside. Alright. Put it away. Let's see what's inside. Okay. Now, unlike the G19, this keyboard is simply a USB powered keyboard. The, uh, the other uh, Logitech keyboard that I have, the Logitech G19, has a separate power supply to power the keyboard. This one gets all its power directly from the USB cable. All right, so, there you go. Wow, it's nice. Ladies and gentlemen, the Logitech G510 keyboard. There you go. It's a nice two-line LCD panel right there. Pretty soft, responsive uh, keys. Perfect for gaming, perfect for typing. You have up to 18 preset, uh, I mean customizable or preset um, G keys. Perfect for uh, MMO games like World of Warcraft, although that's not my, my game. I uh, play mainly uh, first-person shooter games. And it has the uh, window lock button, so you don't accidentally press uh, your uh, Windows uh, keys and ruin your game. Um, you can customize the colors depending on your uh, choice. My choice is uh, purple or pink. Uh, it comes with a 6-foot uh, USB cable. Okay, there you go. Uh, standard Logitech warranty information and uh, instruction manual a uh, CD for the drivers and um, applications and of course this is very useful the uh, wrist rest or the palm rest so I just finished downloading the latest uh, driver for the keyboard for the uh, Logitech G510. I normally just download the la latest drivers instead of using the included CD driver which is often a couple of months old anyway. This is the default color of the keyboard uh, keys. They're white. Uh, upon installation of the software you can change any color. Whatever uh, you feel like uh, you're in the mood for may it be red, blue, green doesn't matter like that of the G19 it has a barrel type uh, volume control right here a uh, media control keys right here to the play, stop, fast forward and back you have as again as I said earlier 18 programmable G keys very useful it has a, a USB powered uh, pass through for headset and a microphone so you don't have to use your computer's um, uh, front I.O. panel for that and a nice two-liner LCD screen right here and uh, we'll see how it looks like after installing the um, software so this is how it looks like in the dark uh, I'm currently running blue. I don't know if it will show on video.
you can also you also have the ability to turn off the uh, light by pressing this button here like so and then you want to change the color and turn to white red blue and, uh, one thing nice about the the latest driver for the Logitech gaming software is the uh, Window in Windows interface. You, you just have to launch the application, press this one, and bam! Everything is controlled in the Windows via Windows. I mean, there. If you want to change the color of your keyboard, see that's that's how you do it. Just rotate this one here, and then change its color. Everything seems snappier than the previous generation G19 software, but I know the G19 also has this has the same uh, interface. Okay, so that's that for the Logitech G10. If you have any questions, just raise me an email. Thanks for watching.